medalist and climactic uh, specialist and all these kind of development professionals have been working on several issues including this uh, clean cook stalls. So I am fortunate to be here at Lamarcan today and uh, I would like to make a presentation. This will not bore you uh, because I made uh, mostly the pictures and to tell the story of this cause of uh, indoor air pollution and especially the cook stoves, uh, which are both relevant uh, in the context of women and the local uh, biodiversity, biomass, climate change, and uh, many other issues. So, clean uh, cook stoves is one of the important requirements uh, because uh, for everyone uh, smoke uh, is one of the things about myself. Now I am working in Kabul on a climate change issue, developing a climate change uh, scenario for agriculture of Afghanistan. That is my current project. Uh, and I came for a uh, break here for a few days and uh, in Lamartan I got this invitation to present. This is the one thing maybe as uh, children, uh, if you had been to villages, uh, the, especially during the mornings uh, and somebody comes and, and somebody is cooking, you might have seen this uh, kind of light uh, passing through the smoke. This is a very typical thing which we might have seen. How to see smoke? So this is one way to see smoke. Indoor air pollution may not be visible so conveniently, but with light we can see. And uh, women, so men are also smoking, yeah, women are also smoking, women are smoking through cooking, it is a necessity, it is by default they have to cook and they have to smoke, but uh, I never seen men crying like that, is there anybody who is smoking and had tears, I don't think so. Uh, but women, uh, they always had tears and uh, they are also literally crying now. Because they have to spend several hours, at least uh, four hours, five hours, based on the family size and other things. So they need to spend in that dark uh, place, uh, what we call kitchen. Because already there is so much food, the smoke, uh, dingy, and uh, they have to spend time cooking there and inhale. Uh, they have to take the heat also in summer. It is very difficult for them. But still they have to do their cooking morning and in the evening. Next. Yeah, these are some of the pictures uh, different places. This is from Adilaba, that is from Mudumalai forest, uh, that is from another forest area, that is from urban slum. See, the people in urban slums also have this kind of picture. But uh, they don't use uh, biomass like in villages, they uh, don't have the luxury. But they have all kinds of materials which are combustible like plastic, chappal, tire, everything will go under it. And uh, they only, not only get polluted but also they pollute the local environment also. They don't have options. So this is the typical scene of any cooking that happens. 
uh, still why we have these three stone skulls? These stone skulls are uh, like I always see the first prehistoric man when he came very close to fire. Uh, then probably he started cooking on three stone skulls. And now also we are cooking on three stone skulls. Then what is development? What is civilization? What is the progress that we have made? If the pollution is same and uh, the technology has not changed much and people are still primitive, then what is great about that we have achieved in this sector? So this is one of the biggest gaps that we still have unattended, even by the government or policy or the people or even civil society. Yes, children, especially mother and uh, girl ch child, uh, they always get associated with uh, the children, let us say children, very young children, they always uh, remain with their mother. When they are cooking, they are very close to their mother. If a mother is cooking 50 cigarettes during cooking, it means uh, that much smoke has gone into the lungs of the child also, because they are so small, they rarely go away. And uh, also the girl children, because the mothers, they might go to farm early morning. They ask the girl child, telling that this is your future job, cooking. So get habituated and start learning. So they also start assisting their mothers. I ask especially in government schools, in villages, how many girls do you cook? Almost all every girl raise their hand. It means that from a young age they are getting used to this thing. You know girls are very intelligent, they get very good marks. But this is one of the cause, their intelligence is coming down. Otherwise they would have been even more intelligent. If they take so much smoke, so much CO, carbon monoxide and all this, and uh, their growth and everything will be affected. And mentally also they will be affected because there will be less oxygen in the brain if you have more CO. So that will uh, retard, they will make dumb. So this is what happens. Maybe women started cooking, cooking, cooking. Young they are intelligent. When they are old they are dumb. I don't know. This is not a statement but I am telling that's how women are treated. So maybe this is one of the causes for the, uh, them to lose their intelligence also because technically it is right. Yes, this whole cook stove is a kind of thing where we need, can address many issues as I said. Environment because uh, we need uh, biomass. Biomass is any plant that we are cutting. Majority of the forests that are lost is because of cutting wood for cooking. That is one of the basic requirements and uh, many uh, small towns you can see nearby forest is cut and all the wood is taken away and uh, that is uh, uh, finally goes to for cooking. Uh, you can see the cart loads of uh, wood, everything will be transferred. And uh, drudgery of women, because uh, many women they go to forest areas or scrubland somewhere outside remote areas and many women get raped in this kind of situations also. It is a rare thing but it happened many times because they are vulnerable in those areas. It happened. So, women and children, as I said, uh, both get affected in the whole process. So, we have an issue of health, uh, the sustainability of our own environment and the uh, resources. Ultimately, the, the poverty, because it is the poor they are getting uh, most affected in the whole cook stove thing, because they don't have access to clean energy. And uh, the emissions is related to climate change also. So about 4% of greenhouse gases emitted by India are through cook stops. Even if we want to take a picture of India through satellites, it is not clean. You take your own photos in any environment, in rural environment or in urban area, it is never clean. If you go to any foreign area like New Zealand or some other place, pictures look very nice. That's why our Telugu film industry goes outside to get some good shots now and then. Because of this uh, browning, the skies are brown because of this food and smoke and all this and cook stoves is one of the contributing factors. Not only urban areas, we have other contributing factors majorly, but in rural areas, this is one of the major contributing factors. 
ultimately the family is important our livelihood is important our life is important so food is important so cooking is important so what we can do Next. so we say no smoking on every cigarette packet after all a person smokes one packet may be 10 cigarettes but women are smoking 50 cigarettes why government has not pasted on every house no smoking the women are smoking 50 cigarettes or more every day it means every house should have this sticker of no smoking and that cancer logo why we are not putting that why we are biased only towards men who are smoking why we are concerned only about men who are smoking only men is the only species to live on this earth so happily we are more concerned about the health of men but not about the women why it is so it means we are so biased even in looking at the gender aspect not only that the environment many issues are related so why can't we address this issue so we can say 64% are still using like uh, cow dung cake uh, biomass uh, different types of you know any kind of food that is used all that but at least 80 crores of people are uh, household air pollution they are getting affected because let us say old people are always tend to remain in the house only so they also get uh, affected due to smoke and the uh, number of deaths uh, premature deaths uh, at least uh, 1 million this is a world uh, who figure about 10 years back is around uh, uh, 5 lakh 6 lakh uh, but now latest is around 1 million people are killed not by bomb blast not by flood not by any other uh, reason accident peacefully by cooking by eating they are dying this is a necessity eating is a necessity cooking is a must so why we are not address this issue it's not a small thing every year at the end of uh, 31st december or 1st january you get a review how many people killed in which thing did you ever get this statistic it means we have ignored this basic fundamental thing which is a major concern government school we are providing mid day meal how proud we are that to doing that service when we are cooking like this and feeding the children what science the teachers are teaching what environmental uh, lesson they are teaching if they are teaching any environmental lesson how come a tractor load of wood is coming into the same school the teachers are telling the children plant trees kashmiri is a very dear they have planted more than uh, 32 lakhs plants taplings now with the children but in the same school we are seeing the same environment wood is cut trees are cut which are already grown up tomorrow i am seeing today we have planted same trees tomorrow for the same mid day meal after 5 years or 10 years will be another thing tractor load coming into the same school is it not the possibility yes definitely because we are not address this issue it's a fundamental thing in a school when so you can see all the dirt everything mud soil everything the pigs will be roaming around because ganji you know that is a starch that they pour outside to eat that pigs will be coming after the school hours and it is so bad that whole environment and this kind of uh, every school is like that uh, don't imagine they have some beautiful uh, kitchens there is no kitchen concept in government schools if they want to provide good nutritious food for the children except in urban area maybe they have made industrialized cooking and they are serving in hyderabad some school but not in rural area yes. so you can see the how uh, the kind of wood they are using different types of wood they are not caring to because wood preparation is a one of the things in cooking in traditionally you see people spend some time preparing the wood for the stove means cutting into right shape size and all that grinders are trying and all that then they put but in uh, government schools uh, this is a three so three stone stove so we have gone uh, to space india has the record of sending satellites but from space what we are seeing we are seeing three stone stoves and people cooking on these things so technologically we are not evolved in any way Next. So this is how the kitchens look. 
इट इज नॉट अबाउट स्टव एलो ऑन द फायर इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग फॉर कुकिंग गुड फूड बट फाइनली इफ द किचन इज लाइक दैट एंड दिस इज द हाउ वी आर कुकिंग एंड फीडिंग आवर नो चिल्ड्रन दिस इज वन ऑफ द फोटोज आई टुक फ्रॉम उटनूर वन ऑफ द फूड ऑर्नामेंट फूड सो एनी वेयर इट इज सेम so you can see everywhere uh, the kind of material left everything the dogs everything they come and they have a free time after the school hours and these kitchens are not closed in any way and uh, what we need to see is the traditionally people are cooking like this and this is one of the stoves i have designed uh, and she is cooking this is the difference that we can bring through a good stove we are not telling them to use only lpg the people who eat on lpg may not be healthy first of all the food cooked in a family may not keep the whole family healthy because by default we don't cook for each and every each and every person's needs in a family we cook on an average for some healthy people so sometimes children will be healthy sometimes the old people will be healthy sometimes you will be healthy other thing this is because we don't have choice of so much food like in joint families so but still at least to the cooking thing from this situation we can change to this situation and we can improve the efficiency of use of fuel also and uh, this is what i did uh, to create awareness uh, this is one stove and uh, this is another stove then uh, i asked the villagers to cook in the open and all the community gathered to see the difference they were seeing how many chapatis are being done on this stove how many chapatis and how much wood is consumed how much wood is consumed they could practically see the efficiency of the improved stoves or good stoves and they could appreciate it and this is what we have created and my friend the srinivas is also here he was also participated with me in the facilitation of this stove and uh, like this we could bring lots of uh, changes uh, and here you see all the wood is gone people are cutting cutting and taking loads of wood where is uh, the greenery then so this is also the woman especially you can see it is very dangerous many times uh, the thorns uh, this are poisonous uh, sarkar tumma without sarkar tumma by now all forest would have gone this is a exotic plant uh, Protophy juliflora, this is from a Mexican plant. For some reasons, it has come over, come to India, but finally, it has taken over like anything wildfire. It is everywhere, and uh, even you cut today, tomorrow you can use it here. So that is the advantage of this wood, and people are consuming this wood uh, majorly. So this is, but still, cutting this, preparing this is a danger for the people. So women are also involved in uh, preparing the fuel wood. so you see like this people always sell uh, bundles of food to urban areas it means jungle is being lost this is from adilabad this girl is taking loads of fuel wood in bundles if it is bundled means they are selling a uh, fuel wood so like this we are losing the local biodiversity forest and everything for the cause of fuel wood and uh, every household uh, they are heaps of food they cut and prepare uh, themselves for the other seasons so the problem is always there are some scorpions and uh, uh, snakes and everything underneath uh, naturally no wood uh, many snakes they love the this kind of wood uh, heaps so here you can see different uh, forms of uh, chips of wood uh, or uh, these are blocks of wood usually in urban areas uh, where we have so many saw mills there we get this kind of uh, wood block which we uh, use in uh, this uh, daba and all that uh, this is another wood uh, pine tree okay it catches fire very much but tooth is too much from this black tooth which is very dangerous and uh, these are logs so i took pictures in uttarakhand area you can see how they are uh, selling wood for fuel wood. they are again prepare it uh, so like this everywhere we can see different sizes of wood here somebody is preparing and he wants to sell uh, this wood 
and uh, brickets, uh, they are nowadays this is one technology converting loose biomass into some um, what useful solid form of fuel that is bricketing. So different methods are there, different materials can be used in bricketing, but additionally we need some more energy in creating the brickets. But we can create a good stove for the size of the bricket, means efficient stove. So that, uh, those advantages are also there. And pellets, so this is a new thing initiative. People thought after petrol what I want to sell. So some people thought I can sell pellets. So some uh, large uh, petroleum based industries have come into this business of selling stoves with uh, pellets. But uh, they don't know that others can also sell pellets. So they thought now we don't have any business. So they left India. They left their stoves and they left. Okay. So now these pellet stoves are there in institutional cooking, they are okay, they are being still used instead of LPG because LPG price is also going in spite of subsidy. And nowadays there is no much subsidy, people are giving up voluntarily or being taken up by government. So now people have come to other means like biomass also for institutional cooking. See the problem is if somebody is using more than 6 feet uh, the height of wood, that's real wood, eh? used from Adilabad. They are very luxurious people. I saw in the winter they were having some fire and heating up. I saw what is this wood? They said teak wood. <laughs> so one cubic feet of teak wood is so costly for us. For them it is only for heating. That's the luxury. What to do? Their teak forest is so much, eh? but they are using it. Okay, fine. But uh, they use this kind of, uh, see, logs and uh, so here the sorry because of this uh, thing in the software. So the fire, smoke, charcoal, and ash. These are the four things in uh, any cookstove. Because ultimately, when you burn anything, uh, these are four things. So there is uh, nothing wrong with these four things. The fire is uh, uh, like sun for us. It is ultimate source of energy for everything, all life. And uh, smoke. Yes, smoke. Some smoke is good. Uh, you see, people preserve seeds, uh, smoking a house is also keeping away insects and other things away. Uh, even for mosquitoes also, we put some smoke. Uh, okay, finally, you use even the temples uh, or any other place, churches, mosques, anywhere, smoke is there. Because in the form of uh, incense sticks or something, we try to always put some smoke. That uh, purifies the area. Uh, sanctity of an area. So that way some smoke is okay, but not too much smoke. So charcoal is uh, another byproduct. Uh, it happens in any combustion of biomass. It can be large or it can be small in quantity, but it is one of the byproducts of uh, combustion. Ash is the ultimate thing. See, after our death, when we cremate a body, ashes and some charcoal pieces we collect in it small container and uh, that's what the uh, human body is. That's the final thing for us. Also, we appear so big and uh, it appears to be so many cages. But once we burn, all water will go, everything will go away and some ash and some charcoal pieces remain. But like that, in every cooking, some ash comes out. That has uh, so many values uh, for cleaning utensils. Uh, or uh, for plants also we use uh, against the pests and other things, uh, for fungus and other things. So it has so many values, even as a fertilizer, ash is used. In acidic soils it is very good. Smoke, so you can see this billowing smoke. Smoke has uh, uh, many things like carbon dioxide majorly, carbon monoxide, uh, it can have some uh, particulate matter, black carbon, it can have uh, then hydrocarbons, uh, it can have benzene, it can have sulfur, it can have, it can have many things. Uh, so it's a combination, but uh, some moisture will also be there. That's why it is somewhat white color and pivot is also white color. Soot, this is very dangerous in the context of uh, climate change. People say this soot, uh, they, if it goes uh, into the sky and falls on any Arctic or Antarctic uh, area, because the albedo, albedo is the, the sunlight uh, that gets reflected due to the white color of the snow. So even one particle of black carbon falls there, it is black, so it means it will absorb the light or heat. Then it will melt the ice very fast. So we have 
more melting of ice means uh, sea level rise and uh, this acceleration of climate change, uh, global warming issues will be more with uh, the particulate matter. So this is a challenge now being discussed. People are telling uh, the sea level rise of this global warming uh, will be slow, but because of this thing, it also comes from any diesel uh, motors especially. You might have seen a lorry that said so much smooth it is emitting. So this smooth is very hazardous on this also. And it goes out into the air. And uh, designing stoves. Uh, why I need to design stoves? Uh, it happened that I visited one of the villages in Mabunar uh, about 10-12 uh, years back. I saw people are still cooking on three stone stoves, but in that village uh, we have dish TV and uh, cell phones here, uh, everybody has. And children are going to convent school, so called, uh, and uh, the bus is coming. And so many things they have, but still they are cooking on three stone stoves. So that's what uh, made me think why people are not done, so I thought I will do something. So that's why I got into this whole. I never knew because uh, traditionally my family or anybody taught me how to work with a tin or uh, different material. Uh, okay, with few cuts no problem, but I could learn a little bit. Then I started designing the house. So, then what I thought is everything, uh, when I was working so much on stoves, everything appeared like a stove. What I can do to make a stove? You can see this is my computer CPU. This is a TLUD stove and all the two of my fans from the same CPU are used here to push the force to air and only two containers I brought in and I made this stove. And a flower pot that also appeared like a stove. So I inverted and uh, made a, this fan fitted into it and it became a stove. And uh, like that, I thought, uh, why not light during cooking? So this is another stove with light. So many ideas emerged. So more than 50 stoves I could design. Why so many? Because people are eating so many dishes. Uh, people in India, the diversity, I am uh, in Afghanistan, I know what is the uh, value of our food. Uh, because there I get monotonous kind of food. But here we get diversity of food. Uh, so that's what uh, requires different chullas, different sizes, different design uh, based on the local requirement. Wherever I went, I never took my stove. I always saw how they are cooking, what is their needs and then and there I designed the stove. This was my approach. So in 18 states I travelled and in 18 states I created different uh, stoves, including in Mumbai for the sex workers of Kamatipura. For livelihood, because on the slums also they cook. They don't have LPG, they don't have IDTP. Okay, there are so many. So there also I have to design a stove because when police come, they have to take the stove inside very fast because they will find. So I created a portable stove for them so they can cook on the road and they can take the stove inside very fast. They have to cook and leave, no? So how can they survive? So these are my designs which have come up. The things are very simple in every stove. Uh, give the good air, then it will perform better. It's uh, nothing but uh, the logic of uh, combustion. So you try to understand what is combustion. Giving right air at the right time will make it like eating at the right time. will keep you healthy. Right amount will keep you healthy. Similarly, right air, right quantity, right time in combustion will make a stove perform with good efficiency. So that's how I was looking at. So primary air is one thing, then secondary air we have to give. So like that side air also is another uh, scope. So this is one of my design which became very popular. About 10,000 stoves we could facilitate in parts of uh, India. And my friend does invest myself. We got it tested uh, uh, with the national cooking uh, uh, lab also. We got very good efficiency. Uh, then. Uh, this is another stove, oven stove, uh, because uh, this is one way of feeding loose uh, biomass for that requirement I made, because sticks can be pushed, but loose mass we had to throw. So I created a slide and created this stove. 
I am happy that in uh, Thailand one of the Buddhist monk has adopted this tau and he created several versions of this tau and facilitated for local enterprise. Local enterprise means the people who sell food for them he created tau and with the same name he is promoting the in Thailand. So all my models, designs, everything I declared as open model. So anybody can access, everybody can improve it or change it or they can get the same results by doing different things. So here uh, may be challenges with that. So sorry, because uh, we have used different uh, version, not to Microsoft. Eh? So this is a good stove. This uh, stove was one of my earlier models uh, based on the traditional uh, thing only. But I created an opening here and I had a knack of using the bricks, uh, the particular sizes, shapes and all that. For a family it is very good and in two villages in uh, nearly 100 person they have adopted in Mauguna. That was one of the initial success and encouragement for me. I was very happy when community has adopted by demand. By demand means they made me a mason because <laughs> I was in demand, not the mason whom I have trained. They used to catch what I mean, no sir, only you can do perfect. I said, this is not my job nor my work. Even if you want to pay me, you can't pay me like a mason. So I said, I trained your mason, you will do. No, no, only you do, you spoiling everything. So, but still somehow I managed to for two villages, uh, nearly 100% I could facilitate and they are very, very happy. And that happiness made me, encouraged me to leave my job and work on this issue completely. Leave my job and work from home without any pay. Initially, I got some encouragement and support from voluntarily from people. But uh, that was a... This is a CM means don't think I named uh, the name of CM. Common man. So my names are also very different and typical. Usually if I create a show for somebody, I name them on that organization or somebody relevant to them, like that. So this is another version adopted in uh, Varangal uh, very nicely by many people. Uh, so this uh, make 3G is uh, one thing which I said. It has all the flexibility, that's why 3G. 3G means our 3G network we are using, no? For phones we are using for multi-purpose. Yeah. So much before our mobile phone 3G. Because... So... Here we can use the briquettes, we can use the seal wood, we can use loose mask because I made a shutter here, you can close it, loose by mask you can use, you can use sawdust also with a bottle. We make a stove, no? The bottle just sitting, that also you can make. So anything you can make in this house and use it, you can put a fan and use like a TLUD stove. TLUD is a top lid, top draft, a gas fire stove. That also you can convert this one. So I made everything in one. So they give flexibility to everyone.